Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic and I've got another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Max Ace MZ02 uh, Zealot. And before we do that, let's go ahead and get this panic dump out of the way and let you guys take a look at what I was carrying today. And my modern folder carry today was the Spyderco paramilitary 2. My slip joint carry was the Boker beer barrel whittler. My multi-tool carry was the Victorinox super tinker and my flashlight carry was, you guessed it, an Olight, the S1R baton turbo. And that takes us to the what am I drinking segment. And today I'm drinking on, on a little bit of Space Dust IPA from Elysian Brewing Company. And this is my, uh, that's my probably one of my big time go-to IPAs. If I'm having trouble deciding, uh, you know, what I'm going to get that day, I can always fall back on the Space Dust and I'm good to go. So, oh, oh, and some... Uh, some pretty cool exciting news uh, I picked up Mrs. Panic's uh, Christmas gift or her well her big Christmas gift today and I'm pretty excited about that I got her you know some other you know little things that she wanted but this is gonna be a total surprise she has no clue that she's getting this and I'm pretty stoked about it but I got her the Sky CPX1 uh, 9mm and I think she's really going to dig that. <clears throat> and I also I got her a, a matching um, IWB holster, but unfortunately, it's not going to be here till a couple days after Christmas. But regardless, I think she'll dig that little piece of luck. Uh, so with all that being said, guys, uh, I guess it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and go ahead and take a look at this review knife. And like I said, uh, we're going to be looking at the Max Ace Zealot, and this is one, this is one dandy of a budget knife. Um, I'm really, really digging it. Um, but before we get to the meat and taters of this guy, let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way and get you guys some measurements, materials, and a weight. And we are looking at a closed length of 4.72 inches. We have a open length of 8.46 inches, so dang near 8.5 inches. And we've got a blade length of 3.74 inches, which is dang near 3 and 3 quarters inches. Uh, you got a blade thickness of 160 thousandths, which is right around 4 millimeters, I believe. Um, and you know what? Let's break out the old trusty measuring tape and get you guys an approximate cutting edge length. And I've got an idea coming up in the near future for a more um, precise cutting edge length, but it's, it's a work in progress. We're looking at right at three and five eighths inches on the cutting edge. Let's go ahead and break this semi-trusty scale out and get you guys... Oh, and if you're wondering why this guy is on the table, I completely spaced out here. But these these knives right here are uh, some pass-around knives courtesy of Jack Farmboy. And I'm very grateful to Jack for, for uh, passing these guys around. And even though I've already done a review on the uh, on the Spider Co here, uh, it's a it's one of my favorite uh, Spider Co's. Um, the Manix Two Lightweight. I mean, it's just 
it's an absolute joy to uh, carry. It's so lightweight. It fits so well in the hand. It's got such good grip and, and ergonomics. Uh, it's just it's a wonderful knife. But, hey, that's like a Christmas movie. It's a wonderful life. Anyway, that was corny as crap. And I'm sorry, guys. I completely apologize. I, I can't believe I said that. Um, but this is the, you know, since I've already reviewed that one, and I think he kind of sent this along in the past around because I'd already reviewed that one. So that that was really, really cool of you, um, Jack. I appreciate that. And this is definitely a knife I've never experienced, and it, it was a really cool experience. So there you go, guys. Um, get you up to speed on my forgetfulness and what I forgot to say earlier. So these are pass around knives from Jack Farm Boy. And uh, with that being said, I believe I'm going to wet the old whistle. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a weight on this Max Ace. If, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise and the scale cooperates. There we go. And we're looking at a uh, weight of 5.1 ounces. And for our friends across the pond, 144 grams. So it's definitely, it's not a super lightweight carry, but I mean, it's not super hairy. It's definitely not super hairy because it just got a haircut today, but it's not super heavy either. Um, and I, I really, I don't think Jack would be sending hairy knives around. Um, but yeah, 5.1 ounces, that's, that's not too bad at all. Um, you know, that's a, from what I'm seeing on average uh, with a knife of, of these materials, and especially, I mean, it's got a pretty thick uh, blade stock. Five, you know, around five ounces is about average, and and that's just my opinion. That's that's what I've seen. You guys may have seen something totally different. Um, and if you have, feel free to comment below and let me know because I, you know, I'd like to see your opinion on what the average weight of today's um, folding knife is and we're looking at uh, we got stainless hardware all the way around we have a just from what I've uh, determined from my own inspection of this knife I haven't taken it apart but just from the looks of it we've got a single position pocket clip uh, which is right hand tip up only and the reason I say that I mean of course there's no option for tip down um, but the reason I say that is because this pocket clip has kind of a curve to it so if you flipped it around to the other side it would curve the opposite way and it looks like there's a little bit of a uh, inset milled out right there for for the pocket clip to fit in whereas on this side there is none so let's just go with uh, tip up, uh, right hand tip up only. Um, we've got some stainless steel liners, really beefy stainless steel liners. I dig that. I'm a big fan of the, if you're going to have a liner lock, I love those uh, liners where they're so beefy that it's almost a frame lock. I mean, it, it, and honestly, it is, a, it's almost a frame lock with, uh, with G10 overlays because the stain, stainless steel frame on this guy is pretty doggone beefy. Um, <clears throat> you got some nice machined uh, jade G10 handle scales, um, a really nice thick uh, jade G10 backspacer. So, and this is, for all intents and purposes, a uh, a closed. Um, Like this, this knife is completely closed off. I just had a brain fart there, guys. Apparently having a lot of those tonight. Um, I think a lot of it comes from the excitement of picking up that that sky for my wife. Um, but anyway, let's get past that. Uh, we got a nice stonewashed stainless steel pocket clip. The nearly three and three quarter inch drop point blade. Um, has a nice stone wash finish. It's a very, very high flat grind. Um, it is in 440C stainless steel. I don't know, you're, you guys are not going to be able to see this, but 
it says on the clip side of the blade designed by Midnight Cat which I think is a really awesome name and then it says 2018 Zealot and then here on the flipper tab 440C this is a manual opening uh, flipper knife the flipper tab has some you know very comfortable jimping in my opinion it, it actually serves a purpose it's not it doesn't bite into your uh, to your finger closed construction there we go my brain unfarted this is a primary like for the for all intents and purposes a uh, closed construction uh, folder on um, the pivot is running on multi-row uh, multi-row bearing system and I do not know what material the bearings are made out of I don't know if they're stainless or ceramic uh, I'm assuming whatever they're made of they're probably caged in a Teflon bearing um, but regardless of the bearing material the action on this guy is and just wait for it I mean that's it shoots out like a rocket and it drops closed pretty well I mean it's not fall shutty or anything but it it drops pretty well with kind of a hydraulic motion really really smooth action I'm digging it and uh, you know I'm not the biggest fan of what I would call fancy schmancy knives but and this isn't you know per se a fancy schmancy knife but it kinda has those elegant lines and you know a, a kind of a, an original kind of elegant uh, handle shape and the way that the G10 is machined and, and kind of overlaid on the frame it's it's kind of you know kind of fancy but I really dig the look of this knife I love the uh, it's kind of an original drop point shape here on this blade uh, you know it starts out you know really wide here and and tapers down and then drops off and I, I mean I'm digging that blade shape and I love absolutely love a nice stonewash finish and I think it's kinda cool that you know the hardware um, your pivot screws and all the uh, uh, body screws on this knife are, they kinda have a polished finish and then the pocket clip um, the frame and the blade have a stonewash finish so it kinda gives you a little bit of contrast uh, and it's a really cool look in my opinion as far as ergonomics go uh, this guy fits really really well it feels really great in hand uh, you got this nice finger groove here that kinda swells up right here and then you've got this nice cutout for the rest of your fingers and they fit really nice and with the length of the handle and I've got you know fairly large hands but with the length of the handle I mean I'm not my pinky's not out here you know looking for its home uh, it's, it's got a nice little resting place right there and the machining on and it's actually got a little bit of texturing too but the uh, machining on these G10 scales you know really give you a nice grip um, and from what I've seen on all the sites that I've looked, which most of them it said that uh, this knife was out of stock, but if you can find it, I think they were running right around fifty dollars. And to me, that's that's a pretty good deal for this knife. Yeah, it's four forty C steel, which you know it's got its fans and its its haters. Me personally. I, I don't have a problem with 440C steel. <clears throat> it's better than some of the other budget steels out there. And, and actually, um, depending on the heat treat that you, you get on the steel, it, it tends to outperform some of the higher end steels to a certain extent. And for me, it holds an edge uh, decently well. And it sharpens up really well and really quickly. So I personally do not have a problem with 440C. I will take that over 8CRV, 8CR13MOV any day, um, any day of the week. <clears throat> and I will even pay, you know, the 10 extra dollars to get the 440C over the 8CR. Um, 
So, my opinion of this knife, I think it's a pretty cool knife. It's got a really unique, interesting uh, design. It's got a really cool look. I'm a big fan of the natural or uh, jade G10. I think that's some really cool stuff. Uh, one of my grail knives is pretty much any Spyderco, but primarily a uh, PM2 with jg 10 I I'm a huge fan of the jg 10 so that was a real um, kicker for me. Like that, that just this knife pulled me right in it, immediately when I saw it. I was a fan, but when I got it in hand and started flipping it and playing with it, I was an even bigger fan. So I definitely um, recommend this knife if you get a chance to, to grab one. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So that means that it definitely gets the Grateful Panic seal of approval, which is one and three quarters thumbs up. So thank you again to Jack Farm Boy for doing this pass around. Um, I'm honored to be included in the group, and it was a pleasure uh, handling both of these knives. And also, um, continued thanks to Bubba Peppers and David Vanderstelt for all the awesome knives that they have sent in for me to review. Uh, it's been an awesome, awesome experience, guys. So, uh, with that being said, guys, thank you for all your uh, views, likes, comments. Uh, thank you guys for everything you do. Um, the Grateful Panic family is absolutely awesome, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So, with that being said, guys, this is Grateful Panic signing off. And remember, guys, stay alert, stay alive, and hey, how about do something nice for somebody today? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.